There's a massive story going on about a country music singer by the name of Jason Aldean. I think that's how you pronounce it. And what happened was Jason Aldean did a song called Try That in a Small Town. He actually released the song several months ago, but apparently the video for the song was just released and it created some controversy in the country music television uh, which is like country music's mtv have decided to pull the video and people are crazy up in arms about why they've made this decision about this song and this mu music video and the lyrics within the song i do want to say that jason aldean has said that he does not he, his song is not about racism. He grew up in a small town and he thinks that we are moving away from the values that he thought was important when he was growing up in a small town. And he wants to get back to that. Um, there was an unwritten rule that we take care of each other and we have each other's back in a small town, Jason Aldean said, and, and somehow we've lost our way. We've gotten away from that. And he hopes his song brings people back to that. And he wants people to know that anybody who misses that mentality you are not alone so i do want to make it clear that he, that he is saying it is not racist it's not pro lynching or any of that stuff now as a psychotherapist who who practices something called solution focused brief therapy like language really matters and language is really important the lyrics of the song and the topic of the song people are saying it's pro gun pro lynching even i mean that's a really really charged word but let's go look at the lyrics. I wanna I want to talk to you about why I think this is super important. I pulled up the lyrics online and he says things like sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk, carjack an old lady at a red light, pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. You think it's cool, you act like a fool. And it goes on like cuss out a cop, spit in his face, stomp on the flag and light it up. Yeah, you think you're tough. And then he says, well, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Around here, we take care of our own. You cross that line and it won't take long. For you to find out, I recommend you don't. Uh, try that in a small town. So those are the lyrics. But where it gets concerning to me, because I do find something concerning about those lyrics I just read, which I'm going to talk about in a second, but where it gets even more concerning to me, he says, got a gun that my granddad gave me. They say one day they're going to round up. Well, that shit might fly in a city, but good luck. So the concerning thing here is, and I, and I think there's two points that I'd like to make. The first one is you can criticize what goes on in the city and talk about crimes that happen in the city, cuss out a cop, spit in his face. Not everybody has a positive reaction, relationship, or interactions with police officers. Now, I don't think anybody should be disrespected, whether or not it's police officers or not, but in the same way that you're asking people to respect your small town values, then I think you also have to respect people's big city experiences because not everybody has the experiences you have and vice versa. So some people have had really difficult and unfair experiences at the hands of police officers. In fact, some really corrupt police officers. So it's wrong for you to take the perspective that your way of living life is right and someone else's way of living life is wrong. And I think the other thing is there are really, really dog whistle level threats here. When you say stuff like, oh, you crossed that line, it won't take long. Well, what's what won't take long? What happens if I cross that line? What are you implying will happen to me if I'm in a small town and I cross that line? And the most concerning thing is saying, got a gun that my granddad gave me. They say one day they're gonna round up. What are you actually saying? I, like You have to understand your words carry power regardless of what your intention was, regardless of what you meant by them, your words carry power. I'm an African-American male and there are small towns in the United States Southern areas where I am not comfortable being in because of this. There are people who hear these lyrics, whether this is how you meant it or not. And if Elliot Connie is in their small town and I do something that they view as disrespectful or wrong, they will feel charged by these lyrics to cause me harm or even death. It's concerning that people are willing to just defend lyrics like this and say things like, this is not what he meant and, and this is that. It's a problem. You are actually calling for people to do violent things in a very dog whistle way.
even if you did not mean to. So I applaud CMT for removing this video because the video I think goes a step further. The video shows images from like social justice things that have been happening in our country in the past few years. Like what's happened in our country in the past few years, like certain populations, certain groups are just really, really frustrated. Now, are they behaving perfectly or great? Absolutely not. I am not an advocate for violence. I don't wanna see people harmed. I don't wanna see people hurt, but we do have to be responsible with our words. And you calling for people to take up arms and to give someone consequence for crossing that line without being clear about what those consequences are. Like if you had said, if you cross that line, we'll, we'll write you a ticket. If you cross that line, we'll tell you to stop. But the implication when you're talking about guns and if you cross that line, it won't take long. It's not odd that a certain population of unbalanced people will hear that as you calling for them to give people really significant physical and dangerous consequences. I just think we need to be more aware and I think we need to listen and we need to understand that we all live in different universes. This singer, and I didn't research what small town he grew up in, but he does, does say I'm from a small town and blah, blah, blah. But you know, somebody grew up in a small town in, in one area of the United States has a very different experience of someone who grew up in like Brooklyn, New York City. You know, people, I have a lot of friends from all over the world, right? And some of my friends from Europe will say something like, in the United States, blah, blah, blah. And I always tell them, it, it's hard to say that. The, the United States is so massive that it's hard to say the United States and put us all in a group because someone who grew up in Seattle, Washington has a very different experience than someone who grew up in small town Texas versus someone who grew up in Brooklyn, New York versus someone who grew up in small town Indiana versus small town Florida versus big city Chicago. Like they're just very different experiences. And, and you might not understand why that person is doing something that looks to you like disrespecting police officers, but maybe because you didn't have the experience with police officers that that person had, maybe because you didn't have to interact with corrupt police officers in a way that causes you to struggle to interact with them. I think this singer however well-intentioned his song may be to bring people together and back to small town values, did it in a very dangerous way. And I want, I want you guys to hear that and understand like no one should say what the right way to live is. Like if I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, that doesn't mean that I should be living small town values. That's just as crazy as me telling this person from a small town that you need to be living with big city values, which are inherently different. That's my take. I wanna hear your comments, what you guys thought after watching the video or uh, after hearing these lyrics. So please leave a comment below. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can find me at the handle at Elliot Speaks. And I can't wait to see you in the next edition of Trending with a Psychotherapist. See you next time.